Life isn't always about holding good cards, but sometimes playing a poor man. Well, I'm Riley, and growing up in Tooele, the first cards that were dealt in my deck for life were my family. I had my king, that's my dad, my queen, that's my mom, and my jack, who is my brother. Although some people would say he's a joker. <laughs> it was great. But what life didn't tell me is that it loves to throw in a few bad cards. My parents were very heavily addicted to drugs, and eventually all the good cards that were in my deck slowly fell away, and more bad cards were added. I felt like I'd been dealt the worst deck around. When I was eight, my parents enrolled me to the Tool of Boys and Girls Club, and I loved it. I had friends, and the counselors helped me with homework, which meant better grades, but most importantly, they encouraged me, and they believed in me. Because of club, my deck began to feel fuller. What life didn't really even warn me about was another bad card. My queen left our family, and our king made a threat against her that ultimately led to him being thrown in prison. I was in eighth grade at the time, so I was placed in the care of my grandmother, and I felt like I had nothing left to be proud of. But that year, the counselors at my boys and girls club gave me the local club youth of the year award for the first time. And that confidence has followed me all the way throughout high school, and I've joined many extracurricular activities. The club has also taught me the importance of being perseverant, determined, to shoot for my goals, and to always keep my head up. I ran for student government every single year of my high school career, and unfortunately, I've lost. Now, most people would just accept it and just think it wasn't dealt under their deck, but I don't like to play my deck that way. I ran for student government five consecutive times, and because of the lessons that my club counselors have provided with me, I'm proud to say that I'm now the Vice President of the Senior Class of 2017. My counselors are some of the royal flesh in my deck and are some of the best people I've ever met. And they've given me some of the best advice I'll ever have and I'll treasure forever. One piece in particular came from Miss Marsha Hill. And she said that even though my deck of cards is tumbling around me and my house of cards is falling apart, there was one that stood tall. It was me. She said that I could be an anomaly and that I could play my hand so much differently than how I was playing it, and that I had so much to look forward to and be proud of. And I'm proud to say that they are the ace of my deck, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here and playing my deck the way I do. And eventually, after I've had my career in neurosurgery, I plan to come back to the club and serve as a counselor to give kids the same message, that they not, may not have been dealt the best deck, but they can make it one of the best. And that's why I'd be honored to serve as the 2017 State Youth of the Year. Thank you.